Okay, now recording has started. So uh, for any problem, sorry, uh, any problem uh, related to fluids, uh, we use uh, three main equations, uh, which uh, are con conservation of mass, conservation of momentum, and conservation of energy. Uh, this, these are an average Stokes equation for um, like all the flows, but for flows which are incompressible and steady, uh, they are a little um, um, simplified. Uh, so the continuity equation is like this now because uh, it is incompressible. We don't have variations with uh, density and things like that. The momentum equation becomes like this and energy equation becomes like this. So are you all familiar with these equations? If you are not, uh, you have uh, studied this before and you can go back to them and uh, study them because uh, all uh, <laughs> in future, you are going to work with them a lot. So uh, I suggest you to understand them very well. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions uh, about this, uh, ask me because we are going to use these equations and solve all the problems. I was saying that uh, even in ANSYS Fluent, they are using these equations to solve problems. So these are uh, the main equations and uh, it is good to know them. So we are going to, to the first uh, question. Uh, I'm, for each question, again, I'm going to start a poll and ask you a simple question. And this time, uh, the poll question is same for all the questions. So the thing that I want you to uh, answer me is which of the equations like conservation of mass or momentum or energy uh, is going to help you solve this problem. Another thing uh, that helps you um, is a fruit number, which uh, you studied in this lesson and which shows you uh, the, um, uh, the relation between inertial uh, effects and gravity effects. And it will help you uh, understand the problems better and solve them. So these are the four main questions and um, we are going to start the first uh, problem and um, you have two minutes to read it. Okay, three minutes to read it and um, answer the poll. So while you are answering that, uh, so the flow, uh, the wave is uh, uh, generating here. And as you see, uh, as it says, uh, one of the uh, wave circles is like this one. It is a four meter diameter. 
and uh, one of them is nine meter diameter. So it asks us to find uh, the stream speed. Oh, sorry, I'm new to the tablet. So <laughs> they ask us to uh, find uh, the uh, stream speed. One of the things that we know is the time that it takes for uh, the wave to get to this point this wave, this wave circle to get to this point is same as the time that it gets for it to get to the for wave to get a four, a four meter diameter. So we know that the time is same for them. So one of the thing is uh, that we know that this is the velocity if we take this one as x. So um, how can we uh, define time now? I'm sorry, I know, don't know how to delete things. Um, <laughs> so time would be So another thing we know about the waves uh, is the uh, the uh, velocity that it takes for it to get to this radius. So we have another equation for that. Oh, and three minutes is over. So I'm going to end the poll and um, show you the result. So yes, we are going to use fraud number. And no, we are not going to use conservation of uh, energy, not momentum. So um, for this equ uh, question, we are going to use conservation of mass. Okay, let me see the uh, questions in the chat box. Uh, I will answer, uh, well, uh, for, for these uh, questions, that the, uh, the ratio between inertial and gravity plays an important role, while in uh, Reynolds, uh, it is uh, not this ratio that works, but we can always uh, calculate for uh, all the flows, but it is not the main characteristic that we are looking for that would help us. If, if you use Reynolds here, it wouldn't uh, have uh, that much uh, help for us now. So we use, uh, we always use uh, these numbers, uh, these defined uh, numbers uh, when, when they are helpful for us. Now a uh, fruit number is the most helpful for us. So uh, now, as you see, another uh, thing that we can use here, just check. So uh, we have, uh, we know that the radius, oh. I'm sorry about that, I didn't get better in it, so. So this is another time for uh, this wave circle to get to the uh, radius of uh, four meters at uh, the time, and this is the speed of that, the time is equal to the time for this wave to get to this point. So is it clear? And uh, then we have an equation for these two. Oh, I'm so bad in this. <laughs> and uh, another thing uh, that we have, uh, so we can use this one. And um, is there any question until now? So we know that velocity, oof, uh, velocity equals distance over time. So time would be distance over velocity. Is it clear, Nessel? Okay. 
Okay, another thing uh, is that we know this one, uh, this circle as well, and this is the same for it. If we write the equation for this one, uh, so for the first one, uh, it would be x If only I could clean it. Let me. Uh, oh, it's going so slow. Okay. No. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. So for the first one, let me close the pool. So for the first one, uh, we have uh, uh, the distance, which is x. Oof. For the second one, this distance, is x plus 4 plus 6 plus 9. Oh. And the radius of it is 9. So if you solve this equation, you get to, uh, and uh, yes, you get to the uh, answer. This is the main uh, thing about it. So if we see the final answer, so we can get that V over C would be 3.8 and another thing we know is fraud number, which is, uh, uh, you know that fruit number is this one. It is, it also uh, equals, oh, V over C, and uh, we can use, uh, and we also have the depth. For the first part, we have the depth, which is uh, 30 centimeters. And now we have the ratio of V over C, uh, we have the depth, and we can calculate velocity. Oof. So uh, let me just check you, uh, check the bag. Does anyone have any question in this part? Okay, no question. Is it clear? If it is not clear, just ask me because uh, the next uh, part is similar to this one and uh, we can go through it faster. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, you don't get x uh, when you use these two equations. You have these two equations. And uh, you can simply uh, like uh, put uh, the x uh, from this equation. x equals 4v over c and put this x into this equation and get uh, the value of v over c. Okay, thank you. So um, if you have uh, any other question, please ask. We are going to the next part. Let me stop sharing because I don't know how to delete this. Uh... Oh. 
Okay, let's start over again. Um, oh, again, we have it. It's okay. So for the next part, um, does anyone know how I can erase all these on the slide? Oh, okay, I found. So for the next part, uh, it is same, uh, but uh, you see that the waves are not uh, apart, like it is not a supersonic wave because uh, now, as you see, this, this, the next wave is not on the other wave, so it is supersonic. This one is not supersonic, so uh, we are going to use the same method as we use uh, in the first part. And we are going to define X here. And, uh, but this part, you should pay attention that the X is only X plus uh, four for the second uh, circle is X plus four. But for the first circle is only X and uh, we can uh, simply calculate it like the previous one. Uh, do you, uh, does anyone have question on this? Okay, no questions. I cannot see um, if someone raised uh, their hand, I cannot see it. Please just unmute yourself and ask your question. So this one was the first question. The next question, uh, I'm going to ask you to uh, read it and answer the poll again. So as you saw, the first question was so easy. You didn't even need to use conservation of energy and momentum to solve that problem. So you need to use your tools uh, in a way that you don't, it doesn't get so complicated for you. The question doesn't get too complicated and you can use the simplest way possible. Okay, I guess um, while you are answering, um, I'm going to um, So we have this wave here, uh, we can imagine uh, one of the circles here, which has the oof, it is a bad drawing. So we have the wave here. We can imagine one of the circles. Excuse my drawing. <laughs> so we know that this is the radius and we define this as the a distance that this wave goes. And we know this, uh, angle so we can again uh, uh, you we know that this uh, radius uh, equals oh, ct and uh, this part equals vt and then we have a theta, we can uh, write sinus theta equals r over x because this is the radius of this circle and this one is 90 degrees. Um, I'm, and uh, now we can say it, is, it equals c delta t over V delta T. So I see a question here. I see 18 of you answered it. 
Uh, I hope that for uh, people who didn't answer it, uh, ask me their questions. Again, uh, we simply just uh, use uh, the fraud number and uh, we, we don't even need to use fraud number as well. So yeah, this was uh, even more simple. So now I see a question here. So V is the speed uh, of the, uh, if I show you here, is the speed uh, that uh, the flow, uh, the fluid of uh, is going. And C is the speed of the wave that is uh, generating. Okay. So this one was even simpler. We didn't need to use any of those equations. Oh. So do you have any uh, questions about how to solve this? We also know that C equals square root of GZ. Z is the depth of the flow. So uh, we can calculate C as well because we have the depth of the water. So then uh, we can get the flow velocity. Okay, if this one is clear, I go to the next question. And the final answer uh, for this one, V equals. Okay, do you have any questions? No? Okay. Just please unmute yourself and ask your questions in case I didn't see it in the chat box. Okay, we go to the next one. I give you two minutes to read it and decide uh, which uh, rule will help you to solve this. Okay, I send the pool again. The thing that you should pay attention to this question is that it, it is talking about critical depth. When does critical depth happen? It happens uh, when the uh, uh, flow speed equals to the um, like undisturbed wave, wave speed.
okay it is only two people has not answered uh, i hope these two people ask me questions if if it is not clear for them okay i cannot see who answered what so if uh, you cannot answer it you can uh, send me it uh, in the chat box you, you can even send me privately so uh, i can just answer it uh, just ask me your question uh, so yes as you see fruit number perfect uh, we, we need to use fruit number for here and um, you should pay attention to the assumptions in the question and now it says critical depth so if if you know uh, what it means and how it happens then the question becomes so easy for you so if we uh, say that uh, the critical depth uh, the velocity should uh, be equal to the critical depth and uh, we also have the flow rate Uh, flow rate is uh, velocity times the uh, depth and uh, so it becomes uh, it equals and we have the flow rate as it says it is 14 and we have g and we can calculate z which is 2.75 meter. So for fruit number, uh, we need L U or V over G. Sorry, I see a chat. Let me check the chat. Q is the flow rate. Flow rate here in the question, it says uh, flow rate. You can unmute yourself and ask your questions uh, because when I want to open the chat, it becomes a little slow. So if you unmute yourself, it would be better for me too. So Q is flow rate and flow rate, the definition of flow rate uh, is uh, when uh, the velocity times depth and uh, you can simply use that. And, and if you see in the unit of the flow rate. So where were we? Uh, we are now calculating uh, the fruit number. So it says if the actual depth is five meter, so now we should calculate the fruit number for a five meter. Do we know G? And we put five meter here. Uh, we can also have U, uh, sorry, <laughs> velocity. Uh, velocity is equal to uh, Q over Z again, and we know Q. Now, since we are calculating for a uh, depth, uh, for this depth, we put five over 9.81. So the fruit number would equal does anyone have questions in this? Okay, for the next part, uh, so uh, it asks what would be the depth be? Who answered energy? We need energy uh, for this part because uh, now, uh, since uh, if you see the equations for that, we have uh, the depth, uh, the one uh, above five meter and the fruit number is at the depth, at this step. So uh, what do we need is uh, if you see the equations for energy, 
it, uh, it helps us uh, to calculate uh, the loss of energy uh, in different uh, heights, so in different depths as well. So we can use an uh, energy equation to solve this problem. I saw several of you used energy equation. Uh, here, but by conjugated depth, it means uh, with the same energy. So we sh you should assume that uh, another uh, another uh, depth with the same energy, and you need to calculate that. Oops, sorry. You open the chat box. So, if we use an uh, energy equation here, So if we use it for uh, for the first step, which was five meter, we use uh, this one, and we have the velocity. Uh, if we calculate it, so we can calculate the energy for this one. And then uh, they they want to we want to assume the second part. At the critical depth. I'm sorry. which is equal this equation equals five and uh, what else we have here uh, if uh, we make these uh, two equal to each other and then Uh, we have uh, this V here as we can put uh, the V as a Q over uh, Z here because we have the flow rate. And at the end, if we put all this together, we get to an equation. I'm sorry for this typing, uh, which is So, do you know how to solve such equations? Because uh, it is in power of three and uh, you, you might have uh, some questions about that. So, if you have equation, for example, x in power three plus bx2 plus cx plus uh, D equals zero. Do you know how to solve it? One of the answers is to use calculator and iterate it. So you simply uh, I will go through the uh, driving the equation again, uh, Amar, if you, uh, we were uh, calculating the depth at the end, we got to this equation. I will, I will write it again. And um, now uh, when you want to solve these equations, uh, you use calculator. Let me send you a video that shows you how to use calculator for a uh, iterating the answers.
So in the calculator, you simply uh, put a uh, start, for example, from uh, any number, which is more uh, obvious for you. You want to put a, a like you press um, a, any number as an answer. Uh, for example, uh, you don't put a, a number less than zero or something else. You can start with, for example, one. And because you know that the depth would not be zero and uh, or less than zero. So you uh, you press one in the calculator and press answer. And then you use answer uh, to write the equation in your calculator. Anytime you put answer, you press shift answer and uh, in power of three plus B answer two plus C answer plus D equals zero. So we know C, D, B and A and, it, uh, and then you press uh, answer over and over and over again until it gives you answers until the answer uh, the iteration is like precise and then you get the answer right. So here, um, this equation was not the answer of this uh, problem, but if you see uh, the link that I sent you, uh, it is just two minutes and uh, you can uh, realize how you can calculate uh, this uh, equation. Do you have any uh, question about solving these uh, iterations? So if we go back to the question, uh, where, where did I get this? I will write it again. Now more clean. I'm sorry, it wasn't clean enough. So uh, we got to a point that we calculated uh, the energy for the one that we know with, which was uh, 5.4 or yes. Oh, sorry, uh, we use the energy. We know that uh, the energy for, uh, it is asking us for the same energy. So we calculated uh, the energy. And then uh, it asks us uh, to get uh, the depth for this uh, situation for the same energy. So if we go to the back to the uh, energy equation, you see we have uh, this equation. So we are going to use it. And uh, we, uh, equals Q over Z. Q is the flow rate. Z is the depth. And we put V as a Oh my God, I, I hope 2G uh, Z2. Oh, I was writing with my mouse, sorry. So uh, equals uh, 5.4. So if we uh, make this uh, equation in order, it would be 2G uh, Z3 uh, uh, plus Q2 equals And uh, if and this is the equation that we got, so uh, it is um, you can uh, solve this equation now. We can set three z three cross q two over two g minus We have Z2 and Z3, and we can solve this equation in a way that I told you. Uh, is it clear now? Okay, 
Uh, this this one uh, it says conjugated depth. Uh, it means that they have same energy, and we could calculate this uh, with with the data that we had for the uh, depth of five meter. So we know the depth. Uh, we can calculate the V with uh, Q over Z and we have the G. So we, if we put this data in this and uh, we get a 5.4. Is it clear? Okay, uh, do you have any other questions in this? Make sure you understand how to iterate because it will help you a lot. So, okay, next question. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Next pool. Okay, we are waiting for five more people. Four. That's very fast answering. One minute. Okay, uh, I will give 20 more seconds. Okay. Thank you for uh, choosing uh, the right uh, equation, especially the energy equation. So now uh, we are going to solve this. The first, um, it asks us to use uh, continuity and Bernoulli equation. Continuity equation is conservation of mass, is another name for conservation of mass equation. And uh, also Bernoulli equation can uh, be derived from the uh, energy equation. So uh, we are going to use conservation of mass, uh, continuity. And it asks us to use the differential form. 
so the differential form, uh, it, we should uh, differentiate it. First, this form over x. And then uh, this one uh, in regard of y over x. And if we simplify this, we get to this equation. But simplify, just put the other one on the other side of the equation. So uh, next, uh, we use Bernoulli equation. And uh, as you see, again, if we uh, differentiate it, uh, we get to this equation. So for this question, you only needed to know uh, these two equations and uh, it would be solved for you. And then uh, from these two, uh, if we, if you put this equation instead of uh, on the V over or on the X, uh, you get to the desired equation. Anyone have any questions in that? All clear? Okay, for the next part of the question, So for this question, you need to pay attention to the condition that it is asking for you. That the surface might rise above the upstream position. So this is upstream and uh, this is downstream. Uh, let me show you a picture about, uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, so we are now uh, going to talk about a hydraulic jump. Uh, uh, so uh, we, this is uh, the flow. Anytime you have a flow, the place, the source that flow is coming from is upstream and the other uh, way is the downstream. So uh, when uh, we have a supercritical flow, uh, the fraud number is over one. And when we have subcritical flow, the fruit number is uh, under one. So make sure uh, you know this fact about the fruit number and um, supercritical flow and subcritical flow. This will help you a lot. So for the next questions, it is uh, basically about all this stuff. So now for this question, as you see, so uh, we don't have, a, we need to uh, calculate uh, the fruit number to uh, realize if it, it is a, a sub subcritical or supercritical, and then we can decide how would uh, the flow act. So if the flow, uh, like the surface of the flow uh, on the, uh, as it says, uh, on the upstream position, let me see, explain under what conditions the surface might rise above its upstream position. So uh, as you saw in the previous picture, if, I should have put it here, if the flow uh, is here super critical. So if it is not critical and we don't have sub, uh, like if it doesn't get to critical point, we wouldn't have a, a hydraulic jump and the flow would be normal uh, and it, would, it will be normal as this. But if we have a, 
su uh, supercritical flow here, then at a point we get to hydraulic jump and the surface of the flow will rise up. So if we don't have this jump, if we don't have supercritical flow, so uh, the, the flow would, uh, wouldn't rise and uh, it would be uh, normal. So now it is asking, uh, what is the condition of this flow? And is it going to be rise? Uh, uh, it, is it going to be higher on downstream uh, in comparison to upstream? So simply, we should calculate a fruit number. Oh my God, we only have uh, five minutes left. Um, let me go to it. So we should calculate a fruit number, and uh, when you calculate fruit number. Uh, it gives you a equation for it, a simplified equation for it as well. So when you calculate uh, the fruit number, uh, you can uh, determine if it is uh, going uh, up or low. So if you calculate it, putting uh, everything in this equation, putting this condition, the fruit number uh, would be uh, lower than one. So we know that it is lower than one. So the fruit number here is lower than one and uh, it wouldn't be super, super critical, we wouldn't have a rise here. And then, uh, what else it asks? Then we should uh, um, calculate the condition above the bump, uh, exactly above the bump. And uh, it is, you, you've been asked to uh, plot a diagram uh, for uh, Y and uh, energy. So again, we are going to use energy equation. And it is again, um, uh, you use uh, another a uh, critical point about that is again solving, iterating the equation. So if you use energy equation, it would be constant and then uh, you solve it and uh, you get to an equation uh, with a uh, power of three and you iterate it. I go through the next question very fast as well. So the next question is almost same as this. You can use the energy equations. And now in these equations, you should, in these questions, you should pay attention to the fruit number and if it is going to be super critical or subcritical. And if you are going to have a um, hydraulic jump uh, or not. Because if you have hydraulic jump, uh, for example, uh, in, uh, in question six, uh, you have hydraulic jump. In hydraulic jump, you cannot use uh, these because uh, the energy, uh, the, the equations, these equations are for uh, the, the time that uh, the uh, loses of uh, energy is neglected and things like that. But when it is hydraulic jump, it is different and you cannot use this equation for hydraulic jump. So make sure you use the equations for uh, the parts that, are, that is not a hydraulic jump. But for hydraulic jump, you have this equation in your uh, uh, lecture notes uh, that you can use uh, to uh, calculate for the hydraulic jump. This is the main thing, like if you understand this main thing and you know how to iterate, uh, you wouldn't have any problem solving this. Do you have any uh, general questions about this? I'm sorry, I had to go through them very fast. You can always email me and ask me your questions. I will answer in detail in your email. And uh, you can always use discussion board as well, but uh, let me put, put my uh, email. Um, we, we are not going to go to uh, the rest of question next session, but uh, um, if you have any uh, specific question, you can ask me through email. I will send my email here.
If you had any uh, questions, uh, that was like if you did, if you realize you cannot solve anything, you are so lost about it. Uh, you can uh, always email me. Maybe we set up a meeting and we can. Uh, uh, I can discuss it more for you, so it's it be solved for you. It is it is not a usual way, but um, uh, if if you go through the main question uh, equation and you have a good feeling about them, you can solve all uh, all these problems. If you had if you got total loss about that, you can simply drop me an email. I'm not going to tell anyone, any supervisor or anything. Uh, we will have a short meeting and we try to solve it because these are the bases. Uh, try to uh, have a good feeling about them and understand them well before you go to the next one. And uh, you can also drop me an email. If this didn't work, uh, next session, at the beginning of the session, uh, I open this meeting 15 minutes early. So you can ask your questions there and we can go through the questions there as well. Uh, thank you, everyone, and uh, have a nice day. Sorry, I had to went through this very fast. We didn't have enough time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I don't know if they they be uh, uploaded, but uh, they are uh, getting this uh, from us. I don't know where they will upload, but uh, yes, it is. Uh, we, we will send a recording to the uh, professor. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.